Good morning, viewers. It's a new day. Welcome to today's devotion with the Daily Fountain, the devotional guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. Invite your family and friends. Get your Bible and your Daily Fountain manual while our devotional leader takes us on today's devotion. Let us pray. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we thank you for the opportunity to feed from your word. Please, dear Lord, open our eyes of understanding that we may behold the wondrous things out of your word through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Welcome, viewers. We are looking at the topic today, Don't Be Moved by Affliction. And our Bible reading is taken from 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, reading at verse 1. 1 Thessalonians chapter 3. So when we could stand it no longer, we thought it best to be left by ourselves in Athens. We sent Timothy, who is our brother and God's fellow worker, in spreading the gospel of Christ to strengthen and encourage you in your faith so that no one would be unsettled by these trials. You know quite well that we were destined for them. In fact, when we were with you, we kept telling you that we would be persecuted and it turned out that way. As you well know, for this reason, when I could stand it no longer, I sent to find out about your faith. I was afraid that in some way, the tempter might have tempted you and our efforts might have been useless. But Timothy was just now come to us from you and has brought good news about your faith and love. He has told us that you always have pleasant memories of us and that you long to see us, just as we also long to see you. Therefore, brothers, in all our distress and persecution, we are encouraged about you because of your faith. For now we really live, since you are standing firm in the Lord. How can we thank God enough for you in return? for all the joy we have in the presence of our God because of you. Night and day we pray most earnestly that we may see you again and supply what is lacking in your faith. Now, may our God and Father himself and our Lord Jesus clear the way for us to come to you. May the Lord make your love increase and overflow for each other and for everyone else, just as ours does for you. May he strengthen your hearts so that you will be blameless and holy in the presence of our God and Father when our Lord Jesus comes with all his holy ones. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Today, as we look at this topic, don't be moved by affliction. Our test, which I just read now, 1 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 1 to 13, we could see that persecution, trials, and challenges of any sort are part and parcels of Christian faith. The journey we are in as believers, we are bound to face trials, challenges, and persecutions. Paul didn't keep the Thessalonian Christians ignorant of this fact. He sent Timothy, however, to the believers in Thessalonica to encourage them to admonish them 
to ensure that they receive the word that will keep them strong so that they can remain firm. Today, the encouragement is coming to us. From the commentary, we see the commentator saying, don't be moved by whatever affliction that is in your way. Afflictions will surely come being a part of the cross to bear as Christian. Every affliction is meant to make you, not to mar you, if you look up to God. Be comforted even in your affliction, for your affliction is for a moment. Be steadfast in the Lord, for he who began a good work in you will surely accomplish it. The grace of God is sufficient for you, even in the time of affliction. God will manifest his power, even in your afflictions. In Psalm 30 verse 5, the scripture says, Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. That affliction may bring about weeping. Affliction may cause you to sorrow. Affliction may cause you to ask some questions. God, where are you? But something good must come out of every affliction you find yourself in. Brethren, there is a word of encouragement for us. In the midst of affliction, cheer up. God is by your side. He assures us in Isaiah chapter 43 verse 2. That if we pass through the waters, he will be with us. If we pass through the rivers, we will not be overwhelmed. The water will not overflow us. If we walk through the fire, we will not be burned by the fire because the Lord is with us. And a clear example is the three Hebrew young men who stood their ground, even in the face of challenges, in the face of trials, they stood their ground to uphold their resolve about serving the only true God. And even when they increased the intensity of the fire, they remained resolute. And eventually they were thrown into the fire. And at that point, God showed up. To prove to us that he's always with us. God didn't stop them from throwing these three young men into the fire. God didn't stop them from increasing the intensity of the fire. But God showed up even in the midst of the fire. That the fire did not hurt them. They were not burned. So, beloved people of God, my viewers... If we put our trust in God, we are very sure our God is able to deliver us. I don't know the affliction you may be passing through at the moment. I don't know what you are passing through that is shaking your faith. I don't know the situation you are in and people are asking you, where is your God? People are mocking you because of what you are passing through. Remember, the word of God says, call upon me in the days of trouble and I will answer you. God is the same yesterday, today and forever. He is still answering us. As many that call upon him, he answers. He hears them. He showed up in the furnace of fire, prepared to destroy Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. And so God will not watch you get destroyed in the affliction of the enemies. God will not watch you be destroyed with trials and temptations coming your way. Today in Nigeria, we see and hear of our brethren, particularly our brethren in the north, passing through challenges, persecution. God is still on the throne. God will deliver them. God will save them. And God will save our nation, Nigeria. Our nation, Nigeria, is bedeviled with corruption. 
Our nation is bedeviled with all manner of evil. But God, in his mercy, will deliver us from this corruption, from all manner of evils prevailing in our time. Brethren, what do we need to do? We need to look up to God. We need to call upon him. In the time of trouble like we are in, we need to call upon him. Are you facing challenges in your marriage? Call upon the Lord. Are you facing challenges in your place of work? Call upon the Lord. He's able to deliver us. And it's my prayer that God will deliver you from every affliction you are in, in the name of Jesus Christ. We have a prayer here that I would like you to join me in praying. O oh Lord, grant me the grace to overcome all afflictions in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now and trust in God that no matter the affliction, no matter the challenge, no matter the trial you are passing through, that God will deliver you. Let us pray. Gracious Father, thank you for your word that we have heard this morning. Thank you, Father, because we know you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. You delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the furnace of fire. You delivered Daniel from the den of lion. We are very confident that you will deliver us even in our time. Deliver us, O God, we pray in the name of Jesus. Everyone that put his or her trust in you will never be put to shame. Say some trust in chariots, others in horses, but we shall remember the name of the Lord. For those who put their trust in you, they are like Mount Zion that can never be removed, but abide it forever. May we abide continually in you. And Father, deliver us from every challenge, every affliction. Set us free. Let the world know that we are serving a living God. Everyone listening here, watching me right now, whatever is the affliction you are passing through, I decree in the name of Jesus, you are healed. You are delivered. You are set free in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father, for answering us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. We thank you for fellowshipping with us today. We invite you to join us tomorrow morning, same time, same station, for another special edition of The Daily Fountain. If you are led to sponsor or support this program, please contact the numbers and email all showing on your screen. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash ACNNTV. Visit our website www.acnntv.com.